Hey, good morning folks. Welcome back to the African Allure Outdoors. It is about five minutes to eight and uh, I'm just off to go and do a quick five minute, last minute warthog hunt. I've got some warthogs that are absolutely destroying my roads here on my place. So it's time to start uh, taking them out. So I've got my bow, with what I can carry in my pockets I'm trying to get down to the feed as quickly as possible because they're coming in at about 8 30 or so and uh, we'll just try and smash one of them so there's two big sows that are coming in at the moment and a whole lot of piglets so we're going to try and smash a sow quickly get that done so wind looks good weather's good got the bow out We'll see if we can make it happen. Stay tuned. So at this point I've been sitting in the tree stand for about 45 minutes and I've had a pig that came in to probably about 19 yards behind the camera. Where I'm sitting in the tree stand to the feeder is about 11 yards or so. So it's really not far, as you can see, I'm sitting in the open. The wind was shocking. These pigs were behind me for some time um, and they actually almost came up right under the tree, but they didn't smell me. But you'll see that when they get to the feeder, the pigs are not that relaxed here. Um, you see they're a little bit jumpy, which is normal for a pig to be when it's coming into food like this. Um, these pigs have not been harassed or targeted for a long time, almost two years here, so they're quite safe. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, if you ever have a pig that comes in and lifts its snout above its shoulder height, you must know that that's a win situation and you're going to be bust. So you'll see very shortly that this pig does exactly that and then they all bolt and that was the last that I saw of them and at this point I decided to abandon the hunt because the wind was not good and I moved out to another site which you're going to see shortly in a few minutes. There you see that pig lift that head and shortly after that you see the chuck. I do believe that one of the key elements of bow hunting is to actually read body language of animals and in this case you can clearly see that the animal is on edge and if you were to shoot at it now you'd probably induce a string jump. Alright so you're going to get me doing a whole lot of waffling here. So I've been in the hide for about 40 minutes, this pig's been in here for about 15 and I can't get my cameras to work. My cameras that I use at the back of the pigs are not working. Uh, my camera that I use at the base of the tripod is not working. So I've just eventually just kind of rigged up my cell phone. And I'm using my Apple phone to take this shot. So excuse the quality, but it is what it is. And the rest of this video will also be done uh, predominantly with a cell phone. And with a little bit of GoPro power that I have left on my phone. So you cannot see an impact on the on the video because it's just the quality of the, the cell phone. But here it is again. Um, I actually 
say in the video just after this that I thought the animal string might jump me. Um, this is a slightly dangerous shot. It is quartering towards, but if you know where to put it, it's going to go down. Um, I did think I'd initially missed the pig completely, and uh, until I found this, and it was a pretty amazing arrow full of blood. Sadly, I left this arrow in the felt overnight, and when I went to pick it up, the next day they had been the pigs had been kind enough to chew off the knock and chew the fletching on this arrow. So game over for arrow. So it's just gone 11:45. I just managed to slock a pig uh, using 60 pounds, 650 grain arrow, distance 21 yards. It's been a bit of a struggle today, it just everything doesn't want to work, cameras don't want to work. Uh, just, you know, it's just one of those days where you should actually call it quits. And um, anyway, the pig came in, slightly quartering towards and uh, let an arrow loose. It didn't jump, string jump me a whole shoal. Um, I actually thought I'd missed him. Uh, all honesty, I couldn't see anything on the videotapes. Uh, it was pretty non-exciting to say the least. And uh, when I got out the blind, man, I found the arrow. The arrow is complete pass through. It looks pretty good. It's red. I did hear a crashing, but I wasn't just uh, too sure if it was being a a um, warthog, just being a stupid animal like they are when they run around the bush. But I think it was probably the death run. I'm just uh, I'm a little bit short on time, so I'm going to go and fetch my dog, good old Mauser, and he's going to help me find a pig quickly. And I just want to grab an extra set of hands here also, just to come and help me quickly. And um, we'll just get this job done and dusted. All right, folks, stay tuned. So we just rolled up on the pig. Mauser's done his work again. Entrance wound, right shoulder, perfect spot. And then we've got an exit wound right here. Perfect, perfect hard shot. Well done. Due to the nature of YouTube and the algorithms that it uses and all those good things, um, Seeing blood on videos is no longer acceptable, so I do apologize. All these photos are in black and white. It's not because of choice, it's because it is a requirement of YouTube. All right, so my woes of the day didn't get any better. Um, the pig was successfully recovered. Um, the arrow went right through the heart, but like right through. And the misconception that people have that when you have a <coughs> very nasty dirt road, um, the misconception that people have when you have a direct heart hit is that you're going to get masses and masses of blood. But you know, a heart can only pump blood out if it's working. If it's not working, she is a broken. And she don't pump no blood out, so um, the blood trail was pretty dismal. The pig went approximately 120 yards. I did actually hear the death run out of the blind, but I was not sure, um, as I stated earlier, you know, that maybe it was just be a pig being a pig. But uh, we found him nonetheless. Uh, my camera waves didn't get any better either. The fellow Thomas that works for me. Um, was not very uh, camera good, uh, efficient. Uh, most of the video has got a finger in front of the lens and then uh, where he should have been taking photos, I don't know what he was doing. I don't have a picture of the pig, so I'm late for my kids. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. gonna get the pig quickly. Okay. Still this you don't need to speak, you can just watch. Alright. Just come closer, you too far. We're just gonna field dress this pig quickly. Where is the road? Oh. Okay, maybe we must just take it. It's recording. 
just make sure we get everything in. All right, so it's as windy as all hell. We've got a nice pig, direct hard shot. Uh, thank you for watching.